despite this being the weirdest race season of all time, uh, everything's finally starting to come full circle. If you've been watching this season since the beginning, you know that this all began with a flight to Portugal, and now we're finally on our way back to Portugal. Please make yourself comfortable on board and enjoy your flight. We all made it to Lusa here. Um, got another double header race week, but the Fox truck wasn't able to make it here. Kind of just had some logistical issues to deal with. Um, so long story short, now we're working out of that guy. <laughs> I guess COVID is throwing a little wrench in the works and we couldn't get the big truck here. Um, so kind of on extremely short notice, started just calling in favors and asking if people could help out. We borrowed a tent and table from Syndicate. Taj and Jules kind of saved the weekend by taking their personal vehicle and unloading a bunch of stuff from the big truck. We're operating out of a slightly different setup and a bit more of a compact setup. Jules and I's camper, Ganymede, put as much stuff in it as we could and drove over here. Took a while, but here. We'll have like our vacuum machine and a compressor and then our Spanish distributor, BC Max, has really stepped up and they seem really fired up to come help us out. I think they're gonna bring a couple more tents and even lend us a technician. I'm just hoping we can salvage something from this weekend and keep people racing. It's not gonna be what people are used to, but it's gonna be something. And I think that's the, that's kind of the theme of the year. It's not what you're used to, but we're gonna get something done. been coming here for I think five years basically Francisco Pardal who races World Cups was like oh we have a sick test track and it's always been really hard to find test areas that you can run in the spring because most are mountain towns and they have snow and it's not super good for testing so we came here the first year in our little setup and Frank shuttled everybody in a rental car and really it's an ideal spot for test camps. Further up the hills more like the gradients more mellow and lots of corners and like roots and it's fun and then the last section of the hill it gets really steep and rooty and scary and fun and you get here and you remember where places are, you know how to do things, you know where to go and you know people. So it is a bit like home, like it's cool. Real tracks, there's a few to choose from. People are super stoked to have riders out and have us out. And then each year it's kind of gotten bigger and better. The tracks have progressed a bit and we've put a little more effort into getting all the teams out here. Us testing here definitely brought a level of credibility to the place. I mean, without people knowing about it, you're not gonna get a World Cup. We're stoked to have two more races here at a brand new track. Um, it's a completely new stop for the World Cup, so it's gonna be a fun week. Obviously, things are gonna be a little different, but everyone's just gonna do their best and we'll see how things turn out. So, like usual, we'll be doing episodes every day this week, so we'll see you tomorrow. I'm
No, 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 so me like the mat. I'm almost positive they didn't use these folding chairs. Call I keep that stick, I don't do no brawling. Open out the doors and let them